In the deepest, darkest reaches of a cave in northern Israel, lies a boulder carved to resemble a tortoise shell. Its deep grooves were gouged some 35,000 years ago. Researchers say the artifact may be the oldest known evidence of ritual practices in the Levant, a region on the eastern Mediterranean that borders the sea between Greece and Egypt. Construction workers discovered Manat Cave in the mountainous area of Galilee in 2008. Researchers have been excavating the site since 2010. Three years later, an anthropologist ventured into Manat Cave's deepest chamber, eight stories below the entrance. He was looking for human remains in the back of the cave and suddenly, he saw it. It was just sitting there on the surface next to the cave's wall, but it's so dark there that it's no wonder they didn't see it before. The carved boulder dates to the early Upper Paleolithic era, which occurred between roughly 46,000 and 31,000 BCE. As the researchers say, Manat Cave was a pivotal ritual compound during this period. The team thinks ancient people gathered inside the cave to perform communal rituals centered around the engraved boulder. Over a decade of excavation, researchers have pieced together a long history of human occupation in Manat Cave. Per a statement from the university whose dental students identified prehistoric bones at the site, both Neanderthals and humans lived in the cave at different times. In 2015, a 55,000-year-old skull found in Manat provided physical evidence of interbreeding between Neanderthal and Homo sapiens. The ancient activity mostly took place near the cave's entrance. There, researchers have found evidence of flint napping, animal butchering, and food consumption. We were concentrating close to the entrance where there was more light and people were living. It was so dark and deep in the cave's rear that they rarely visited that part. The rock, which weighs about 60 pounds and measures less than a foot across, may have represented a totem or a mythological or spiritual figure. Its special location, far from the daily activities near the cave entrance, suggests that it was an object of worship. The boulder's chamber has enhanced natural acoustics, which could have created a unique auditory experience for communal activities such as prayer, singing, and dancing. Researchers found wood ash on nearby stalagmites, suggesting that prehistoric humans carried lit torches to navigate the deep hall. It is no surprise that prehistoric hunters chose to conduct their rituals in the darkest part of Manit Cave, as darkness embodies sacred and hidden qualities, symbolizing rebirth and renewal. The scientists had a gut feeling upon first glance that the boulder's adornment wasn't naturally occurring, but they had to prove this theory. An examination of the engravings under a laser microscope found grooves that looked like they were made by flint tools. Per the study, the researchers then made replicas of flint tools found nearby and successfully used them to engrave another Manat cave boulder. The researchers don't know the meaning of the carved boulder's engravings which resemble the pattern of a tortoise shell. The carved, scute-like sections might stand for distinctive communities that united to form an early society in the area. Establishing ritual centers during the Upper Paleolithic was a central element in the development and institutionalization of collective identity. Rituals were a necessary stage in the transition from small, isolated hunter-gatherer groups based on blood ties between individuals to large, complex societies.